I'm Sarah Forgandi with Kent's 5 News Now. A body discovered one week ago by a property owner has been identified as a 60-year-old man. The medical examiner says that man is Richard Reyna. He was found near the Highway 90 access road at Pew Road when a property owner, trimming brush, stumbled upon bones. They appear to be bleached out, leading investigators to believe they had been there for at least a year. It is still unclear how Reyna died, but the sheriff says he appeared to have work clothes on. Caught on cam, a half-naked man trying to walk into a college student's apartment. In the video, you can actually see the man naked from the waist down trying to pry open a door. He's also seen trying to enter at least one other apartment. The college student says it happened early Sunday morning at her apartment off Ingram Road. Despite the video, she says San Antonio police refused to charge him. I had plain video proof of him fully trying to break my door and they just told me do whatever you do, need to do to protect yourself. She says officers would not charge the man because he claims he was sleepwalking. The San Antonio Police Department says they're looking into it. Deputies believe there could be more victims after they say a man assaulted women by luring them into a local restaurant for supposed business meetings. BCSO identified him as James Andrew Peters II. They say one of the victims told deputies that Peters assaulted her after a dinner at a 54th Street restaurant on October 17th. Restaurant staff members were even able to corroborate her story and told deputies Peters would frequent the restaurant with different women under the guise of a business meeting. He would allegedly order them shots of alcohol while he secretly ordered himself shots of water. Another victim has since come forward with a similar account that ended with an assault. Peters was arrested, but he's now out on bond. And now deputies are asking if you're a victim or no one to call the Bear County Sheriff's Office right away. A break-in at a storage unit that houses toys for children with cancer is leaving the group devastated. Big Love Cancer Care says someone stole a year's worth of toy donations from the storage unit off of I-10 near Parkdale Drive on the northwest side. The toys are for Christmas for kids fighting cancer. When we opened that unit and I saw they were all gone, I was devastated for one, um, especially being two months out from the holidays. So close, that's you know, eight months of work that I had put into that and it all being gone just broke my heart. The toys are worth more than $2,500. There is an event this weekend to try to help them restock the supplies at the Chicken and Pickle on UTSA Boulevard Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. Could there be a mountain lion or panther on the prowl in the Halotus area? The Bear County Sheriff's Office says it had a report of something there. Deputies were called after someone says they saw a large long-tailed cat in the green belt along the 10,000 block of Fox and Way off Highway 16 North in Halotus. Deputies say they did not find the cat. Now the Sheriff's Office says stay alert and supervise kids outside. Keep any small pit pets indoors. If you see the big cat, call the office, Sheriff's Office 210-335-6000. A 19-year-old who allegedly assaulted a student near a local high school is now in jail after what investigators say they found at his home. Deputies tell us it started when 19-year-old Michael John Mullenbrook punched a student in the face near Sonia Sotomayor High School. Deputies say he then reached into his car, grabbed a rifle, and threatened to kill the student. Deputies later tracked him down to his home where they say they found large amounts of narcotics and illegal weapons. That 19-year-old is now facing several charges. A deadly home explosion in North Texas kills two people early Monday morning. It happened in Van Alstine, an hour north of Dallas. The explosion took the lives of a man and a woman in their 60s. Their names have not been released. Fire crews say a propane leak might have caused that explosion. Ten students from Texas State University are now facing the consequences of a wild night out. Police say the group stole $500 worth of Halloween decorations from a home in Kyle. The homeowner was able to give police a video of the suspects and when authorities tracked him down, they say all of the decorations were still in their truck. They also say the students between the ages of 18 and 20 admitted to what they had done and they're now facing charges. As for the decorations, they're back home with their owners.
A San Antonio local baker was named this year's winner of the Halloween Baking Championship on the Food Network. Manny Martinez owns the Grim Bakers in San Antonio. He was one of four finalists competing for the big prize of $25,000. Martinez says he's using the winning money to put a down payment on a house. A big congratulations to Mr. Martinez. As for today's forecast, Palmeiras. All right, very warm day today, mostly cloudy to partly cloudy and breezy. High at 86, and then this evening, it'll be breezy, temperatures upper 70s. That's against 5 News Now. I'm Sarah Fergani.